Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to use ChatGPT to help you write your Google ads. There's a lot of talk about ChatGPT Chat and you know, is it replacing SEO? Is the AI replacing uh, how you write Google ads or how to manage Google ads with ChatGPT and all this other stuff? We're, we're gonna show you how to actually use the AI. It's gotten a lot of hype, so we wanna jump in and talk about it. So first off, if you're in your Google Ads account, this is a, a great option if you're having trouble copywriting or you're, you're managing accounts for other people or um, you're, it's your own account and you're just a little stuck, maybe writing's not your best thing. So we'll jump over to ChatGPT for uh, Google Ads specifically, even though it could really do a ton of different stuff. We're logged in here. I mean, it, it has examples. You could put in all kinds of different things. So. Uh, you can just do a quick one. This is great if you're you're managing Google Ads for clients and it's something you don't know a lot about. Maybe it's a new account or you you just need more ideas on ad copy. So we'll just type in write ten Google Ads for plumbers, uh, or you could do Google Ads for attorneys or roof companies or software or uh, a doctor or whatever it is. Just to to generate some ideas. So then it'll it'll start pulling up different options. Uh, now remember this this is it's possible that it scraped it from somewhere else so you you don't want to copy and paste this exactly the way it is this is for generating ideas I mean um, can chat GPT write Google Ads no not exactly it, it can't do the entire thing it more gives so ideas this isn't taking into account all the different character limits and it doesn't really say um, is, is this chat GPT writing Google ad headlines or is it writing uh, descriptions for Google ads? It, it, what position is it in? Is it, uh, I mean, technically you would use responsive search ads now because that's the new format, uh, but this is just to give you some ideas. So you can have it, you have need a plumber fast, call us 24 seven for emergency service. So that's a good one. A lot of times people will need a plumber fast 24 seven emergency service. If your plumbing company does that, that's a great option. Uh, this is this is kind of a question answer, which we talk about this in our, our uh, masterclass training, how to write a lot of different ads to, to speak to people. This one's a question answer, problem solution, uh, leak causing problems, our licensed plumbers can fix it. Kind of that, it's asking you a question directly. This could be a good headline if you can adjust it to fit uh, our licensed plumbers, that's your credibility, making sure they're legit, or you can add A plus uh, Better Business Bureau if that's relevant. Our licensed plumbers can fix it, kind of here's your problem, here's the solution, click on the ad. Uh, Want to upgrade your plumbing, free estimates. That See, the system's not perfect. That might be for a plumber that redoes bathrooms or can install something different or adjust the, the shower, or put in a double sink or something like that. So if you if you don't do the upgrades or the remodeling or something like that, you're more of a, a fixing plumber or your client is for, for Google ads and that that wouldn't work. Um, don't let a clogged drain ruin your day, call us now. I mean, that, that kind of has some emotional appeal and it's it's personal language. Uh, so that could be an option, just you know, clogged drain, ruin your day, call us now. We can fix it. Actually, our licensed plumbers can fix it. So you can kind of pick and choose from that. Uh, that's another need a new faucet or fixture that might be more of an upgrade high water bills that's kind of an upgrade i mean repairs or a water softener possibly uh upgrade to a tankless water heater so it it kind of mixes the the repair ones with emergencies and stuff like that or um actually this one's kind of boring wide range of plumbing services call us today that's that's very generic so uh, some of these are good ideas you can test them you see it has kind of question answer or it has some urgency on that 24 seven emergency plumber. It does have other options if it's a plumbing service to upgrade things or uh, over here, I'll just show you, we did a, another one to look at uh, some different ad copy, just threw it in for attorneys. So if you have a client that's an attorney, you need some different ad copy options or you're running uh, Google ads yourself, want some DIY options, uh, chat, G chat GPT, can help you write Google ads, uh, just not exactly cut and paste. So you got need legal representation, our experienced attorneys can help, call us today. That's a pretty good one. You've got question answer. 
again, which is a really cop, uh, a really popular ad copywriting thing for Google ads, injured in a car accident, let our skilled personal injury attorneys fight for you. So you've got very personal charged language here. You've, you've got kind of, here's the problem. Here's the solution. We'll fight for you. That That's really common here. Or facing criminal charges for a, a criminal attorney, something like that. So we can, um, yeah, starting a business, we can help you there, being sued, litigation attorneys, it's kind of what the what the problem is and then the solution right here. So that's really copy, a really popular ad copy option for Google Ads. So uh, ChatGPT writes some pretty good ads for Google Ads. I mean, these are good options, they're just not really cut and paste. You might want to edit them a little bit so you're not ripping off somebody's ad or someone else's headline. Uh, they're just meant to give you ideas. So jumping back over to Google Ads, this is our test account. We do all of our training examples in here. A lot more training you could see. We show how to set up a search display, a lot of different things. This is just a test account. That's why it's nothing in here. We use it in our, our master class. But you jump into here and just create a new ad. A responsive ad's the new thing that got rid of extended text ads uh, last year. So you have to switch to that. So we'll just go in uh, creating an ad here. So you'd put your URL in. We, we have different training uh, in, our, in our class and some on the YouTube channel for free about uh, how to write better Google ads and responsive ads. So we won't get into all the details. We just want to focus on uh, chat GPT to write Google ads right here, or at least get ideas for Google ads. So we'll come in here. Uh, we'll get some headline ideas, description ideas. A really th easy thing to do is just grab all these and throw them into an Excel or Notepad or Evernote or whatever you use and, and piece them together there and then put them into your actual Google ad to see what you get after generating all these ideas. So we'll just throw them into Notepad real quick and then jump back over to Google ads. So, I mean, you could do Excel or, or whatever you prefer. It doesn't really matter. So we've got some different options. Uh, we don't want the quotes. That doesn't work. But uh, let's just grab some of these and see what we can do with the headline, uh, so need a plumber fast, call us 24 seven. Uh, this one's cut off, so we'll probably have to do, uh, still doesn't work. There we go. Need a plumber fast, call 24 seven. So see, it's not identical to what was in there, but that still makes sense. You know, need a, need a plumber fast, call 24 seven. So you got a really good headline that has a call to action and some urgency. Uh, we prefer to pin these. So like that one, we only want in position one. You can pin all three rather than it rotating like crazy. And usually with these, you'll want to do title case. So you just capitalize the first letter of, letter of every word, and then you could put in some other options here. So I'll just see what else is good in here. Uh, free estimate is good. So we offer free estimates. That's good for really any home services. Uh, actually, that one I want in second place here. And then for the third headline, um, for this particular one, if, if you want to do A-B testing, kind of the original way, but adjusting to responsive ads, you would just do your three headlines and pin them and then do a different version with three other headlines pinned. Uh, the other option, if you prefer to, to just write a bunch of headlines, you could write a bunch of headlines and just do one ad and let Google's automation rotate it. I, I mean, experts debate this, it's just really whatever's getting results, whatever's getting leads and a good ROI. We usually just do three headlines and two descriptions and do two different ads to A-B test. So see if there's anything else. Uh, for the headline, not really. I mean, we kind of used up everything we want here. So we'll kind of, you know, license is good. Maybe we can take that. And remember when you click on this, Google also gives you some options. So, uh, well, these aren't very good actually. This is why, you know, chat GPT is usually better than Google. <laughs> Find the right plumber, get a pl these, okay, these aren't good. Uh, we'll just do local, affordable, license. Just some more credibility things. Uh, local, affordable, license. You could do A plus BBB, something like that. Some good options here. Uh, a lot of times the third headline's cut off anyway. It even shows that in the preview. So the first, first two, uh, we'll go ahead and move that. The first two are really the better ones. So you can't always get all of your, your Google ads ideas from chat GPT, but it, it does give you some good options. So we've got that. Uh, we could probably grab a good description. These are more like descriptions. I mean, again, you told it to chat GPT to write Google ads, but you can see here, it doesn't really tell you if it's a headline, it's a description, the character limits. Uh, this is not going to take into account the, any type of uh, Google Ads policies or anything like that. It just kind of spits out stuff. It's AI. It's not perfect, but um, 
Let's see if we can find something that that'd be a good description. So we could grab this one. Uh, this is not too bad. A wide range. Uh, in in this case, I mean, kind of kind of wide range uh, offers. Let's see. It actually fits in here. We'll just edit it a little bit. That's that's kind of boring. So I'll just edit this. Uh, we provide a wide range of plumbing services and repairs. We can fix it fast. That's a little bit better. Kind of a wide range. It didn't really specify what it is. Whatever the issue is, we can fix it. Uh, get it get it fixed now. Something like that. So we'd kind of kind of use that to get some ideas, but then edit it to actually be a better Google ad. And uh, prefer this one. Probably going to pin it. And then description two also gets cut off sometimes. So we'll just we can uh, figure out what to write here. Uh, so this particular one we used emergency so there's not really this this it's a sense of urgency if someone actually typed that or did something like that so these other ones we could do a different ad variation if they're wanting to upgrade their plumbing or a leak causing problems uh, our licensed plumbers can fix that schedule regular maintenance tired high water bills let us fix the leaks and repairs kind of there's a there's an ongoing problem and they really need to get a plumber out soon and the faucets are really low pressure or the water bills are high because the toilet's always running, it doesn't stop, so it's not extremely urgent. So some of these other ones would be a good option for that. There's a, a You can even use the wide range of it for two different ads. You can do the tired of high water bills because if something's leaking or constantly running, it, it's going to take a ton of water. So these could be good options for, for other issues. So actually this one's pretty good, uh, the clog drain. Don't really know what it is, so this one we're actually gonna use a couple of different options and rewrite it. Actually switch to the clog drain one. So we've got it in here, just do a quick edit. So I'll just do a quick uh, rewrite on this because if you're matching it up to your keywords, it's probably just plumber or emergency plumber or something like that. So we'll just do uh, don't let clog drains, broken toilets, or leaking pipes ruin your day, call right now. So we just listed out a bunch of things. I like the ruin your day uh, and we could come in and fix your day and make your day better. So don't let a bunch of different things ruin your day. Call a plumber right now. They can fix it and, you know, help your day not be ruined. So just a quick idea. I mean, uh, chat GPT can write some pretty good Google ads and give you some ideas, but it, it doesn't spit them out automatically. So that's that's some good uses uh, of, of different, you know, everybody's talking about marketing with chat GPT and Google ads even SEO. Uh, I mean, it, it can do some things and it gives you some ideas. It's just hasn't exactly replaced humans yet, but you can see if you're, if you're running Google ads for a client or you need, um, you know, different ad copy ideas and you're, you're stuck, it, it does have some good options. You could just keep typing things in here and see it, what it comes back with. Maybe you like part of this or part of that, use one of these lines or something you know, question, answer, all these different formats for, for whatever it is. You can just put it in here. It'll work for, for any industry, any niche, any business and get some ideas uh, and then come back come back to your actual Google Ads campaign. And you're going to need to edit them, but it, it does give you good options, especially if you're not the best at uh, writing ad copy or you want to A-B test some new Google Ads, get some new ideas if you're stuck or if you're managing it for a client where you don't really know the industry that well and their website's not the most helpful. Um, so as, as we say in our other training, ad strength, ignore that. It just, it says add more headlines, include more keywords, blah, blah, blah. Just do what Google says. Uh, just ignore it. There's no evidence that it affects conversions, conversion rates, lead quality, sales, ROI. It's just another Google thing, whereas you do what Google says and you get a high score. If you don't, you don't get their fake score. So ignore ad strength. That's useless. Um, just focus on just does this get leads? What's the conversion rate? If not, write a different one. And keep A-B testing to make sure the account has a good ROI. So hopefully that helped you get some more uh, Google Ads ideas with ChatGPT. And um, if you want to check out more training, just jump down to the description below or uh, post comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching our PPC Ads training video. Uh, if you want more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, like this video if you found it useful. And any questions, post them in the comments down below. Uh, we also have additional training in the description. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.